there's a lot of expectation that Judge Cannon, just based on that first ruling, will bend over backwards to do what is in Trump's interest. In this case, that would appear to be slowing things down. Because here's the thing, if the trial delays long enough, Donald Trump can convert what is a trial in a court of law into a literal trial of public opinion. It's important to note here that all these criminal investigations into Donald Trump, from Jack Smith's classified documents case and January 6th case, to Georgia's investigation of the Georgia election scheme and the New York uh, indictment over hush money payments, all of those investigations and cases were launched before Donald Trump declared himself a candidate for president. In fact, we know from reporting that Trump actually moved up the declaration of his candidacy precisely so that he could then claim he was being politically persecuted if indicted. You see how that works? So his plan from the beginning and now is to try to win the presidency so that chief among any other goal, honestly, he doesn't go to jail, he can be above the law, and he can drop the cases against him. And even if he does not have a fair judge, this case is likely going to take a while to get to trial. Which prompts the question, what happens with Jack Smith's other criminal investigation into the ex-president's efforts to subvert democracy and incite a violent insurrection? That investigation is ongoing. It's not showing signs of slowing down. In fact, yesterday, the same day Donald Trump's getting arraigned in a federal courthouse in Miami, two Nevada fake electors were spotted entering the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C., where the federal grand jury meets for that investigation. And then, of course, there's Fulton County in Georgia, where District Attorney Fonnie Willis is investigating Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in her state of Georgia. We are expecting a charging decision in that matter to come in a matter of weeks. In fact, yesterday there was a question as to whether her investigation would be delayed because of Trump's federal indictment. Today, her office put out a statement quickly shutting down that idea, saying the federal indictments, plural, will not have any impact on their investigation. And get this, you may have caught this detail. Yesterday, the Fulton County Sheriff's Office said they sent personnel to Miami to sort of take in the scene and to prepare for a possible Trump indictment in their state, which would seem to indicate they're expecting an indictment. But if the classified documents trial is delayed, I think, honestly, just looking at the odds and looking at the timeline and looking at the calendar, the most likely outcome is that Donald Trump's not going to be tried before Election Day in 2024. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seems most likely. And so then voters are going to have to make a determination about this man's suitability for the highest office in the land and whether he is above the law. And if that's the case, which, again, appears likely, it becomes even more imperative that the ex-president is charged and tried for his gravest crime that he committed, his attempt to end American democracy as we know it. 